welcome back to She Tried It. I know I'm excited for every pattern and today is no different. I'll stop being excited when I stop finding amazing designers. Today we're talking about the Finish Shawl by Not Bad Brit. And I have a lot to say today. There are timestamps below for each section of this video, so let's get started. when I say Brit is a force of nature. I first learned of Britney when I found the Makers of Color Collective. Britney started crocheting in 2015 so that she could start making stuff for her daughter. She has since tested patterns for other crochet designers and major brands. Brit no longer just crochets, but she also knits and Tunisian crochets. She has even released quite a few designs of her own. One of the attributes I admire and she is most proud of is how she highlights Makers of Color. Hopefully you've already seen my Black Maker series or binge watch my Black Makers playlist. If you haven't, feel free to indulge in that after this video. While I initially got the inspiration for the Black Maker series from Little John Yarns, people like Brit have been instrumental in how I carry my channel. When I first got into crochet, people told me how this was a predominantly white craft, which it is, and I will continue to make things from amazing white designers. However, to completely disregard all the talent makers of color have added to this community is an insult. I hope that my channel and pages like like Makers of Color Collective make you aware of the very real diversity in the fiber community. Like I said, the Makers of Color Instagram page was my first taste into the force that Brit is. Since then, she has made and is planning to make many other initiatives to amplify the talent of minorities. One of those initiatives is the Makers of Color member directory. If you're a crocheter, knitter, or yarn dyer, this is a community I highly suggest joining. Brit has created a space where Makers of Color can come together and be seen. This might be a bad analogy, but I told you I went to Bradley University. It was by no means an HBCU. I remember getting on campus thinking that minorities weren't a thing there, but then I realized we were lumped separately rather than together. Brit has brought all these separated minorities into one place and it's a beautiful thing to witness. In addition to the member directory, Brit has also started the pattern directory. Maybe you're just now realizing you've never made a pattern from a minority and you want to explore other designer ethnicities. You need to head over to the pattern directory linked below. Also, if you're a minority designer wanting a space to advertise your pattern, feel free to add your pattern to the website. The pattern directory and the member directory are completely free to join. But wait, there's more. Brit is also creating a 2022 Maker of Color Collective calendar that will feature 24 unique designs. 12 will be knit and 12 will be crochet. This is gonna be amazing. I believe the time for the pattern submission has already passed, but if you wanna stay up to date on the calendar release, be sure to follow Brit on her Instagram or sign up for her newsletter. I think that's it for now, so let's talk about the finish all. actually part of another initiative Brit started called Sisters Not Twins. This is a collection of projects that include a knit and crochet version. If you're a knitter watching this video just to be polite but would like to make one of these for yourself, first off, thank you for your support. And also, be sure to check the Freya Shawl by Sun Daughter Knits. That is the sister shawl to this one, and of course, it will be linked below. I found this pattern to be extremely simple. There was nothing too complicated. I think almost anyone can complete this shawl. It was very well written, and I made no modifications. I did have leftover yarn, and it is on my Mercari shop, linked below. There was nothing too complicated in this pattern. As you all know, this is my second triangle shawl I've made. The first was the Breezy Eyelet Shawl by The Graceful Tangle. The funny thing is that these two shawls are constructed completely differently. I'm new to the shawl world, so I'm curious to find out how many ways a triangle shawl can actually be constructed. fall, I think of earth tones, and one of my favorite earth tones is brown. Plus, the pattern was written by a brown skin girl, I made it for a brown skin girl, and Brit amplifies the voices of brown skin girls, you know, it all made sense. The brown that I chose was from none other than Wee Crochet, who is again sponsoring today's video. The yarn I used from this pattern is Hawthorne Tonal Hand Painted Yarn in the color Newport. This Newport color features almond mixes with highlights of oatmeal and pops of warm chocolate brown. It's important to note that since this yarn is hand-painted yarn, 
The colors may vary ever so slightly from hank to hank, but as you can tell, I used three and I don't see any noticeable difference between the three hanks I used. This yarn has a fiber content of 80% fine superwash highland wool and 20% nylon. This is classified as a fingering weight yarn and comes with 357 yards for every 100 gram hank. The care instructions suggest hand washing and tumble drying low. This was my first time using this exact yarn, but I believe this yarn is in the same family as the Hawthorne yarn I used before to create the perfect peplum top by Stephanie Aaron and the Urban Chic Cardi by Designs by Key. As you might have noticed, I'm a huge fan of this Hawthorne yarn and I love all the color options Lee Crochet has to offer. If you're in the market for a fingering weight yarn, I highly, highly suggest this That's one. all I have for you today. Be sure to check out the Makers of Color collective pattern and member directory and also don't forget to follow Brit for details on the 2022 calendar. I officially have two shawls in my collective. Don't forget to leave me a comment below letting me know what my next shawl should be. See you in my next video. Bye! Cute. Just kidding.